The Apocalypse of Peter, Chapter 2 And you learn a parable from the fig tree. As soon as its shoots have come forth, and the twigs grown, the end of the world shall come. And I, Peter, answered and said to him, Interpret the fig tree to me. How can we understand it? For throughout all its days the fig tree sends forth shoots, and every year it brings forth its fruit for its master. What then does the parable of the fig tree mean? We do not know. And the master answered and said to me, Do you not understand that the fig tree is the house of Israel? It is like a man who planted a fig tree in his garden, and it brought forth no fruit. And he sought the fruit many years, and when he did not find it, he said to the keeper of his garden, Uproot the fig tree, so that it does not make our ground unfruitful. And the gardener said to his master, Let us rid it of weeds, and dig the ground round about it, and water it. If then it does not bear fruit, we will straightway uproot it from the garden and plant another in place of it. Have you not understood that the fig tree is the house of Israel? Verily I say to you, when its twigs have sprouted forth in the last days, then shall false Christ come and awake expectation, saying, I am the Christ who has now come into the world. And when they perceive the wickedness of their deeds, they shall turn away and deny him whom our fathers praised, the first Christ whom they crucified, and therein sinned a great sin. But this deceiver is not the Christ. And when they reject him, he shall slay them with the sword, and there shall be many martyrs. Then shall the twigs of the fig tree, that is, the house of Israel, shoot forth. Many shall become martyrs at his hand. Enoch and Elijah shall be sent to teach them that this is the deceiver who must come into the world and do signs and wonders in order to deceive. And therefore those who die by his hand shall be martyrs, and shall be reckoned among the good and righteous martyrs who have pleased God in their life.